14! 14! 14! 14! 14! Think, film, and belief! 14! Think, film, and belief! 14! Ha! 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 14! Ha! 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 Hello. Think, film, and believe. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. <laughs> so, how are you? I'm doing great. And thank you for watching, watching, watching. Have you subscribed? And, you know, I forgot to say, I might tell him you look from McLeod because you're Did you understand? <laughs> no. No, you didn't because I was speaking. <laughs> Think, feel, and believe. One, two, three. Listen to them in succession because, um, you know, got a little bit of story, a little bit of theme, a little bit of story, a little bit of theme, so that you can kind of understand uh, the whole process here. Because, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. I never heard nobody talk about the things like I talked about before. Nobody ever give the, you know, to me that, you know, can you tell it to me in layman's terms? Can you give it to me in layman's terms? Um, how they were experiencing everything blindly. I, I mean, I know there's people out there that have, but you, a lot of this, a lot of this manifesting things and and stuff like that, and your thoughts, you know, thoughts produce things. Yes, they do. Yes, sure, yes, they do. Um, thoughts produce things. But most people that talk about this kind of stuff are. Um, hold on. <coughs> Thank you. Most people that kind of talk about these things talk about this. Oh, yes, I visioned this house in this great big house and I remodeled it for three years and then I became, you know, and it lived in the exact house that was on the picture. Okay, whatever. Okay, but that's, and, and then you watch these videos and you think, oh my gosh, you know, just another one of those things, you know, it's kind of like putting it out of reach for most people to understand on the basic level, the basic level, basic level, on the basic level, to to say the fact that you know what you're doing in your life, what you're thinking, feeling, and believing in your life on a daily basis, and your thought processes, and the things that you're doing, and the things that are happening in your life are generally and based on what you're thinking, feeling, believing about it. You know, there's a song that was written by I don't know who it was, and I don't care at this moment. Crashing by design. Uh, you, you know, you're basically, uh, things are happening in your life because there are thoughts that are passing through your mind. You know, it's, uh, you'll find it, uh, uh, Google, 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 crashing by design and you'll find it. And it's just kind of fascinating and interesting. So there's a lot of stuff out there that, that really people will talk about as far as, as far as these things are concerned. But I wanted to talk about these things on a basic level to really kind of give an impression to people that, you know, what you're thinking, feeling, believing on a daily basis in your relationships, in your job, about how you believe about money, how you how you believe about what's going on, how you believe about politics, how you believe about all this stuff is really just kind of writing the narrative of your story. As I understand, it's like you're writing your own book. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> and we got to take responsibility. So, I had another kind of story. And then they're going to, well, kind of short of two stories. Um, so, let's just put it this way. You know, I, I reached a certain level or a certain point where I had to kind of, you know, you know I, I really started being consciously, well, I mean, with all the things that I experienced blindly and then coming to the light, coming to the light, coming to the light. That, you know, I'm like, I got to start thinking, like, I, I got to watch what I think and say. You know, I started paying attention to my thought life, you know, and what I was thinking and feeling and believing. And I, I and I realized that it was important about what I was thinking, feeling and believing about um, about stuff. And I started watching what I was saying. Now, the thing about it is, is like, it's not magic. It's not wand. It's not magic wand. It wavy wand. And I said it once and it happened. No, you don't have to freak out about it. You know, it's the consistency and the persistency of these things. You see the consistency and the persistency of things. But the 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 danger. I mean, danger, ranger, danger, ranger, danger, ranger. The danger of it is, is that sometimes we can get caught up emotionally in things because of the external items or things that are taking place in our lives that cause us to reinforce and to say things and you know for me for me and i give it for me and i give it for me the example you see for me you see i give example of me you see i am of me you see that i got caught up in the emotions of things and you know uh and then after the fruition of it all took place then i had to take responsibility <laughs> 
because I knew these things and I knew the uh, blah, 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 knew the reality of what I was doing, kind of like after the fact. But it kind of sort of relates back to uh, 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 that last story I was talking about. You know that person that was in my life. Yeah, yeah, but she kind of figured it out. But she kind of figured it out. But she kind of figured it out. And um, uh, I tell you, this person was driving me crazy um, on so many levels. And I'm not going to get into that. I'm not. Um, and if you've ever been in a, I don't know what you want to call it, a very tense relationship kind of thing and the dynamics that, that are taking place that are affecting it, are generally speaking a number. Uh huh. There's more than just one thing that's going on. You see, it's more than just a one thing. It's you. Generally, it's going to be like a culmination of things, and so you're caught up into all of it. So I mean, I talked about you, you know, it was basically she was doing stuff that you know that I knew it wasn't right. Okay, well, there was that going on, and then there was. Drive me crazy, drive me crazy. So, driving me to such an emotional level to where I periodically, I mean, I was just so fit to be tied all the time that I just started speaking. I wish she would just leave, I wish she would just leave, I wish she would just leave. I wish she would just take whatever it is she needs, leave the majority of everything else behind, and I wish she would just leave, you know? I spoke that one, you know, under the duress of everything that I was under. By and large, by and large, under the duress of everything that I was under, by and large, and um, and many times, I um, I repeated, I wish she would just leave, I wish she would just leave, I wish she would just leave, you know. And so the point I'm trying to make right now is the fact that you can get caught up in the moment of everything, and you're emotionally driven by it, and. I don't want to say that's okay, uh, but that's life, and life has its way of pushing you towards things, whether it's your job or it's relationships with other people, whatever else is going on, okay? whatever else is going on, you know, it's the emotional, it's the, the things that are happening to us that affect us, that cause us to emotionally react, and what are we doing? We're thinking about it, I was feeling about it. And then I was kind of, and I was obviously believing about it because it was a reality that was continuing again and again and again and again and again. And so, um, many times, I wish she would just leave us, she would just leave us, she would just leave. And I would have the thought, I wish she'd just take, you know, her stuff, whatever it else you're doing, I wish she would just leave. How many times did I repeat that? And then guess what? One day, she did. She did. She took basically all the stuff that she needed kind of like her own stuff um piece of furniture here and there whatever majority else was everything was left behind and she she just left you know um it didn't dawn on me till i can't tell you when uh, a few days i don't know a few whatever two three whatever it was days later and then I realized, oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, she did. She just left. And she did exactly what I said. So, I mean, you can sit there and say, oh, well, so you want to use that power and you want to do that. I said, well, that's not just really how it works. There's no magic wand in this. I'm telling you, there's there's a certain number of things that are synergistically connected to it. And you got to be in line with all these things. And they got to be connected to create the fluid line of current to that will cause things to happen so it's not just a say it speak it zap and it happens and you think that one day you're just gonna uh, you want something so i'll just repeat that all the time i'll just repeat that all the time don't work that way don't work don't work that way it's as soon as just a connection of all of those things and a persistence of it that you know what she did she just left and let's just end that story right there um and i you know and i had to take responsibility for it but by the same token i mean with everything that i was under at the time it was just i mean it was like i mean if all truth be told it was kind of a wish come true <laughs> i didn't do it purposely i didn't do it on purpose but you know it's like i like i said you understand me are you listening to me yes like i said it's like i said like i said you know 
sometimes you just got to take responsibility for some of the things that we're doing and what we're thinking, feeling, believing because. <laughs> Go to 15! <laughs> Woo!